Warning, this content contains foul language, violence, and gore. Enjoy the story. Hi guys, this is Ravenclaw What If. Welcome back to another What If Story. Last time on What, what If Female Deku is on um, Poison Ivy's daughter. Poison Ivy and her little, little flower escaped Gotham and made a home for himself in Japan. Some down the line, Nezu caught wind of of Ivy being in Japan, so she, he offered her a position at UA as one of their teachers. He ultimately agreed to be a teacher at UA because her daughter wants to go to that school. So she might as well, you know, be a teacher there while her, her daughter eventually uh, attends. As we start our episode off as uh, Izumi's in their personal garden that's established at their new house. Ivy taps her daughter on the, sh on the shoulder. Hi, Mom. What is it? You might want to get clean a uh, cleanup. We're, um, we're expecting visitors today. Who's coming over, Mom? Um, some of a family of one of the heroes that I've Unfortunately, got to talk to Mrs. Todoroki and her daughter is coming by the visit. Don't really care for her husband, though. Kind of a douche, but nevertheless. Why don't you go to your room and get clean up? We're gonna have. We're more probably gonna have. They're probably gonna stay for dinner, so. Move along. Shoo shoo. As, as Izumi goes off to her room, you have outside of the Midoriya residence as Rei Todoroki and, well, Shota Todoroki. Oh, short note for you guys to know ahead of time. This version of Todoroki, um, sh she won't have the scar that Canon um, Shota gets. Yes, um, Ray's not in the mental hospital in this one. Endeavor is not a, he's not as bad as he is in canon in this. So let's continue forward. Um, what are we doing here? Oh, yes, I totally forgot to mention it, dear. We're here to visit a, um, well, if you plan to go to UA, she will be your teacher. Mom, you want to spend time with Momo, but this is important. It's it's best to have a a good impression. Understood, Mom. As Ray knocks on the door, as Ivy opens, oh, you must be Ray. Please come in. This must be your daughter. It's a pleasure to meet you, dear. Please come inside. My daughter should be um, downstairs pretty soon. She was just working at the gardens, and I, she's I'm getting ready as we speak. You have a daughter, uh, Miss Midoriya? Oh, yes, I am. She should be around your daughter's age, actually. Dear, are you ready yet? Yeah, Mom, I'm coming down. Izumi comes down the stairs, as she bows, as she's like, it, I'm, um... I'm Izumi Midoriya. It's very nice to meet you. Shota's like, hi, um, I'm Shota Todoroki. As Izumi, you know, shakes her hand. Regardless, as she, uh, at first she knows, sh oh, Shota, sorry, Shota knows that, that she's not very good around people. Physical contact. As she saw the, the, the the expression that like she didn't want to touch her. She just doesn't like touching people in general. Apologize, dear, for my daughter. Um, she's not used to being around people or having any physical contact with anyone because of um her abilities. 
as Ray brought, like, as Ray looked at, um, Ivy, um, what do you mean, um, Miss Midoriya? And, and well, I'll, I'll simple it down for you, uh, for you, Miss Todoroki. I'm able to produce poison from physical touch. My daughter over here has similar abilities as I do, but hers is a lot more non-lethal. It's mostly, she produces some sort of chemical makeup that's able to port, paralyze a person for a certain amount of time. She's able to control it to a certain degree. As long as she's in constant focus. Dear, why don't you entertain Miss Shota over here while I talk with her mother? Okay, Mom. This way, please. So, Izumi, what do you like to do? Nothing much. I, outside of training, I spend a lot of time in, at the garden. Are you planning to go to UA? Considering your mom's going to be teaching there. As Shota sees the sparkle in her eyes. Yeah, of course. That's like the best school in Japan. It's kind of what I want to do with my life, to be a hero. Simply just want to help people, you you know? Not because, you know, it's a job, because I genuinely want to. Is that, like, is that paralyzing thing your quirk? Oh, no, that's not a quirk. What do you mean? Well can't really go much into detail I don't know much about it myself but something happened to my mom before I was born something genetically so I'm able to I'm naturally able to produce chemicals and some other things but my quirk is a um, I guess you would call it if you would phrase it something it's a mixture between a Strength cork and a um, earth manipulation cork. It's not as advanced as a manipulation. It'll most likely be like a earth based strength cork. I I'm able to control the earth to uh, to a certain degree. Really helpful in gardening, actually. It's quite useful. What school do you go to, Izumi? As, as she looks at her, you know, sideways, like, are you interrogating me, Shota? Uh, Shota? Oh, sorry, I was curious. I've never seen you at school. Um, yeah, um, my family, my mom, yeah, she home, she has me homeschooled. I've always wanted to go to an actual normal school, but mother, you know. Is very on assistant on me being away from other people because of the pheromones that I could produce. Do you like some tea? As, as Shota's like, yes, I would love some. I would love some as Izumi gets one of the staff. As you know, they get older. Oh, sorry. As she told one of the staff to get some tea ready. As they sit down in one of their little um, sit down rooms. As, Sh as Shota and Izumi talk, as this is the first time she's talked to outside of Miski, so she doesn't really have any you know, much interaction with people in general. As Shota, as Shota, you know, noticed that by her behavior, she's very sheltered. No about that, Miss Tudorik. I don't really feel comfortable sending my daughter to a normal school. That's it might be too dangerous for the other kids. I understand your um, log laundry. Sorry, that you don't want to because you want to protect your daughter and protect other people, but she does need to go to regular school. I'm just, you know, a friendly, giving you a friendly advice. It's your daughter after all. You will do whatever's what's best for your daughter. I'll do the same with mine, but judging by how well my daughter's been getting along with your daughter, I think it would be a good idea for to have her go to her school, so. 
she would have a friend at least. Maybe you're right. Maybe I've been a little bit overboard, overprotective. I just, she's my little flower. <sighs> I guess I suppose I could do a test run. Good. Um, I'll send all the information. Thank you, Mr. Rookie. Please, call me Ray. So, by the way, um, Shoto, what is your quick by the way? Oh, um, I have a half and half. Half, oh, sorry. Half hot, half cold. I don't really like using the fire too much, but I do like the ice. My mother has the ice cork. Unfortunately, my dad has the fire. He's kind of a douche. What about your dad? Uh, yeah, I don't know not much about him. Mom doesn't like talking about him. At least to me. All I know about my dad is his first name, Asashi Midoriya. And he passed um, before I, um, shortly after I was born. My mom has a sad look when she talks about him. So I re I I don't talk about him around mom. I really don't like to see her sad. It's quite all right, um, Izumi. I'm sorry if I brought it up. No, you're fine. You're just curious. After all, we just met, so I figured you would have questions about that eventually. As Izumi sees her mother and um, Ivy and Ray walk in. Oh, there you are, girls. Seems like you two are getting along perfectly. Well, that's kind of good. What's going on, Mom? I have decided to let you uh, uh, let you attend school. Really, Mom? But yeah, I know. Let's like call it a trial run. I'll be sending you to Mrs. Todoroki's daughter's school. Remember, Izumi, you must keep your emotions in check. You should never, ever, not, sorry, you should never not be focused with your powers. You're still in training process. You've advanced quite far, but you're nowhere near the mastery level that I'm at. Mom, I'll keep that in mind, but thank you. As she, you know, she jumps up and hugs her mom as, that's... It's quite alright, my little flower. Little flower, you might want to eat up with her. You're a lot stronger than me. Oh, I'm sorry, Mom. I sometimes forget my strength. It's quite alright. She ruffles her hair. As, they're, as they get ready for dinner about 30 minutes later, as everyone, you know, has a lovely time. As Ivy and Izumi wave Shota and her mother goodbye as they leave. As Ivy puts her hand on her daughter's shoulder. Now dear, remember, do not use that, that uh, other side of you, that your light abilities. Do not demonstrate that until you get to UA. It's nowhere near ready for being used. It is very dangerous. I know, Mom. It's you told me many times you don't have that. It's not a yeah. I know, dear. It's not a quirk. It's some sort of interesting ability you uh, you got there, daughter. It's going to be quite useful if you want to do this hero thing. I've been rough on you. I mean, you have. You're not normal. You're not, you're not like normal kids. You have to train three different abilities. Even though your light abilities, it's basically a ability that you inherited from me. But still, nonetheless, you have three little powers that you've been trying to control. You got the plants on uh, manipulation down. You're as good as me when it comes to that. Ev 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 everyone else, it needs a little bit of work, but don't worry, there's there's still time. As the teacher of UA, 
I have access to certain facilities to help you with witch training, so don't worry. We'll get it all squared away. Why don't you get ready for bed? And You're going to have a busy day tomorrow. I've already informed Misky that I'll be um, sending you to public school. I've already paid her for about a year's worth of work, so she, she'll be good for a while. Until she finds another job. You have a sweet, you have sweet dreams, my little flower. Good night, Mom, as she kisses her mom on the cheek, as she goes off to her room to, uh, to sleep. The next day have, has progressed, as Izumi and um, Ivy get her ready for, to enroll her into school, as they go buy the uniform at the store. We time skip a couple weeks as Izumi is waiting outside of the classroom. As the teacher informed the class that they're getting a new transfer student, as everyone ex it, everyone you know wondering who it is. Shota already told Momo who it's going to be, so she, Momo's been looking forward to meeting this um, Izumi. As the teacher opens the classroom door, as she directs um, young Midoriya to step in and introduce herself. Hi, um, I am Izumi Midoriya. My quirk is a earth-based quirk. It's very nice to meet you. As she bows, as she, the teacher told her to sit between um, Momo and, and Shota. As she introduced herself to Momo, as they get along pretty well. Shota knew that Momo and Izumi were going to get along really well. They're both sheltered girls, so they have some um, interests aligned and some old, sorry, and some bad habits they both have. Momo is self conscious and doesn't really believe in herself, and um, well, Izumi, she's afraid to hurt people. Zumi doesn't want to hurt people. She doesn't like it. But once you, you know, um, hurt a plant, then her not hurting someone, doesn't want to hurt someone, turns into, I want to hurt you. So she does have that little aspect of her that her and Ivy have in common. She doesn't totally hate humans. But she hasn't met, she only met a, a rare few of them. Because when she's, um, when her mother was running the shop, the flower shop, she mostly stayed up, upstairs, never really interact with the customers. Eventually, it became lunchtime, as you have Izumi eating lunch. As Shota and Mama walk in the lunchroom, as they see Izumi as... Some of the trouble kids are picking on her. <laughs> Look at that. That's that villain's bitch. The villain's daughter. <sighs> My mom is not a villain. She's an ex echo terrorist. There's a difference. Shut up. You're 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 most likely gonna be a villain anyways. Please leave me alone. I'm just trying to eat my lunch in peace. <laughs> Why would I do that? As as he knocks the tray on the ground, what are you gonna do about it, villain? It's when Izumi, as she sighs, as she gets up, as the kid pulled her hair. That hurt you, creep. As immediately, the kid gets socked right in the face as, as Izumi sees um, Shota. Sock that kid right in the face. Buzz off, loser. She doesn't want nothing to do with you, so I suggest you leave. <laughs> You're lucky for now, girl. But the number one hero kid can't save you for long. Let's go. Izumi, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine, uh, Shota. He was kind of a 
prick. <laughs> it's just a sort of, yeah, he's a bit, yeah, he's known to be a prick. Just stay away from him and his little goons. Shit, uh, you know, grabs his even hand as she leads her out of the cafeteria. I'm really sorry you had to deal with that your very first day. I was hoping he wouldn't bug you until at least your third or fourth to get you used to the whole being in being in, in a um, school setting. It's fine, Shota. I figured there's going to be people like him. People like that. No matter where you go. That's what my mom always said. Yeah, that's, that is true. As ever since that incident, Izumi always stick close to Shota and Momo. As he be as they begin eating lunch with each other all the time. As her school years went about normal, a couple encounters with, with, uh, with some bullies. But Shota usually puts them in their place. So, and we pretty much skip until like pretty much the end of the end of middle school. As the teacher, you know, announced what school they want to go to for um, high school. As everyone knows, and as well, is, um, they're not going to do the whole UA thing because UA is a college in this, so they don't get to do that until high school. So they have a couple of uh, schools they want to go to. Izumi, Shota, and Momo have a school where they all want to go to. As they fill up their applications, as they have to wait in the, they're going to have to wait for the letter in the mail if they got accepted to that current high school or not. As a few days has passed as you have Ivy and Izumi working together on in the garden. As they're spending some quality time with each other. I heard you've been doing pretty well in school, dear. Yeah, Mom, it's been fine. I had a couple. My first day was a little rough, but... It's, I've actually, I've, I'm, ha I'm, I'm really having a good time. Thank you, Mom, for allowing me to go to school. I know, dear, I know I'm, I'm a bit overprotective, but you are my little flower. I, I will always, I will always have your well-being in mind first. You know that, dear. I know, Mom. Oh, is there any boys you like? As, Mom. All right. Girls? Mom, fine, fine, fine. I'm just curious. Mother, you know, get to worried. Honestly, Mom, I haven't really thought about that, about that sort of thing. I've just been so focused on school and getting stronger and not being so timid. It's hard. <laughs> I know, dear. You've always, you're not an aggressive girl. You're still my little flower. No matter what. Thanks, Mom. I think I'm going to have to get ready. Where are you going, dear? I have, um... Shota wants me to hang out with her and Momo. Very well. I don't have too much fun now. All right, Mom. As Ivy turns around, as she sees Shota, as the staff told her that, um... Shota's here to pick up Izumi. Ah, Shota, there you are, my girl. Izumi's um, about getting ready. It shouldn't take her long. Hi, um, Mrs. Midori. It's it's fine. I know how Izumi gets when she's guarding. She kind of loses track. Of, she loses track of time when she's dealing with nature. Yeah, she tends to do that. Shota, dear, um, her room is on the far right. The, the second story. Uh, Shota, you know, goes up to um, Izumi's room. Hey, Izumi, it's it's me, Shota. Oh, oh, um, Shota, please come in. I'm just getting ready. Sorry about I. Uh, I'm running a little bit late. Oh, it's no problem. Momo is still most likely getting ready herself, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Here, uh, Izumi, let me get that sit on the bed. As, you know, Izumi sit in the bed as Shota starts 
finishing off brushing her hair that Izumi was trying to brush, but her hair is so long that she can't get to it, and it was hard for her to get to it. Her mother usually helps her with this part. Thanks, Shota. My hair is a bit too long, and maybe I should cut it. Thank you. So keep it as it is. You're, it suits you. Thanks, um, Sh uh, Shota. Where are we going anyways, um, Shota? Oh, we're going to a, um, amusement park. What's an amusement park? Seriously? Izumi? Well, I've never been to one. I've never been allowed to. Too many people. You, uh, you're one sheltered little girl. Uh, Izumi gives her the pouty face look. Uh, well, technically, she turned around and gave her the pouty face look because, you know, she's still brushing her hair. But after they're done with that, as you know, it pretty much works with um, Shota because, yeah, Izumi has a way with people, especially when she um, uses her pouty face. So she pretty much gets what she wants. So we skip a couple hours as they're at the music park as you know they're having a grand they're they're having fun it's izumi's first experience at a uh a music park with so many people as yeah she kind of got lost as she's trying to search for shota as she hears a whole lot of screaming as the crowd's running as she gets knocked down to the ground she sees this green looking thing as it's the sludge villain as he the sludge villain has a a very creepy uh smile on his well what you could call a face as he immediately attacks izumi as she's as he's trying to force his sludge into izumi's body as she's gasping for air as um as shota sees um her eyes widen as she sees her friend being attacked by a villain as she rushes over her as she's sliding off ice as immediately she's throwing fire blast after fire blast at the sludge villain as he's screaming out in pain. Get your filthy hands off her, you creep. As she starts throwing fire at the, at the sludge villain. As All Might was passing by during his patrols as he saw the scene of up higher here as he you know does his whole speech don't fear i am here as he does you know a detroit smash a detroit smash as she smashes the sludge villain as izumi gets drops out of the sludge as she's about to stick around as shota dives under to um catch her izumi are you right as she's coughing up some sludge as immediately she wraps a sh shota in a hug uh, she was scared. She's crying a little bit. Ladies, are you alright? Yeah, oh my, um, we're fine. This, I have it from here. Thank you for saving us. No problem. I have to get going. I have much to do. Once I get this villain in a, um, proper cell, as he, Shota throws him a, um, a container to put the sludge villain away, as... He's aware of who Shota is. He's uh, she's a Todoroki, so. All right, all right, Izumi. Kind of my little circulation a little bit. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, no, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. But I knew this is going to happen eventually. What do you mean, Shota? You um being attacked like this. In this situation, we need to fix this. We need to fix this. If you want to be a hero, Izumi, you're going to have to be, you're going to have to toughen up a little bit. I know, it's, I'm not used to that. It's fine, don't worry. Don't worry, um, I'll help you with that. Trust me. It's one thing the Todorokis have in spades, is, <laughs> is, tend to be quite aggressive. Meet me. I'll pick you up after, 
every day uh, after school. I'll help you get over this um, timidness, being so timid. Thanks. Uh, you know, you don't have to do this. I do. I, you're my friend, and I don't want to see you hurt. As you know, Yuzumi stays latch on to to Shota, as she's still she's still shaking from the or from the experience. Shota knew that she eventually is going to have to get over her timidness to be a hero, so she, she's going to help her get over this timid nature that she has. Probably going to stop it there. Hope you guys have a good night and day. Judge my time zones and I'll catch you in the next video.